Hello guys, welcome back to part 4 and I promise this is the last part. I'm just going to quickly run through the last part of the action script and then I'm going to quickly show you how to make another queue to add into the uh, function or into the action script. So uh, if you wanted to add more you can add more. So let's open up the action script and I've got one more for loop which is basically the same as this for loop here. It's doing this same calculation and basically it's setting the child index as item array i. So the child index is going to be item array of 0 being the first array in the list. Sorry guys. So we have a new variable of PCT which is short for percentage which is number and that equals the item array i dot y, so up and down, minus minimum y, and that's divided by the range y. So it's a very confusing to, uh, to understand. It was for me when I first, uh, first started to learn Flash, um, but as I said, I'm, I'm not brilliant on describing math to people. I know math, but not brilliant enough to describe it in detail. So uh, please bear with me and as I said just download the source files and uh, have a look through. So after that we have variable of scale and that's going to be the number which equals the percent which is this part here or the PCT short for percentage the variable and that's going to be times the range scale plus the min scale. So the range scale min scale, so the minimum scale being at the back and the range scale being how it moves on its radius point. So the last part, item array i dot scale x equals item array i dot scale y equals scale. So basically this code, line of code here, is just basically the scale, the size of the cube is scale x being left to right equals the scale y up and down and that equals its actual scale as it spins. So that's the last part of the code. So let's close that down. Now when you open this up, all you need to do to make a new queue is just basically click in the library. Let's just drag out this cube black. All we need to do Actually, let's uh, do that a different way. Let's get rid of that. Let's uh, open up the library, right click on the cube black or any of the colours, click duplicate, and let's scrub the copy part out and call this cube. Let's do cube purple. Cube purple. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy that so they're writing it in. and. Before you click OK, we want to export this to action script. As I said, we don't want to put anything on the stage. So select that, and then we've got a class of Q purple. So you don't need to select anything else. So just select OK, and then you'll get this warning. Basically, it's just saying that there's no class for that definition, and a new one will be made and generated upon export. So click OK. Now as you can see I've got a cube purple here, but if I drag that out you'll see it's black. So all we need to do is just double click inside that, click on this dark black part, and as you can see we get our shape here. Obviously if you click on this part it will only give you this mirror type shine effect. Um, and obviously we don't want to change that part, we just want to change the bottom part. Clicking that again, come to the color palette, click on the eyedropper, and select this purple here. I know it's not a brilliant color, but it was just one I could think of. So let's close that down. Use the purple or pink, whatever color you'd like to call it. Let's just see if we can actually find a dark purple. Let's just show a bit more of what this purple color.
So let's just use this one. So we have our colour. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click back onto scene one. And now all I'm going to do is select that and I'm going to delete it off the stage. And I go into my action script. All I'm going to do is come up. Exactly the same as what we're going to do. So, Control C, come to the end, Enter, Control V. So we're making a new array. So this is the item array number five, and it's going to be cube purple. So let's just write that in C U R P L E. And let's make this go to a link of. Let's do Adam's new site, the owner and developer of Develop PHP. The new site is actually building at the moment a web intersect. So let's use that. And that's it, that's done. That's all you have to do to make a new queue. So what I'm going to do is close that down and control enter. And when that actually opens. Now you can see I've got another QPL, Q purple. So it's very easy to actually add in more queues. And as I said, if you want to change the speed, all you need to do is come into the action script and you just need to change this part here. Well, sorry, not this part. This is the one. You need to change uh, these parts here, the min speed and the max speed to whatever you want. And then that will give you speeds and obviously just change the new speed. So just play about with these numbers until you get the speed you like and yeah that's it it's easy as that so as i said once uh, you finish watching the video go over to developphp.com find my video which will be either on the adobe flash so uh, let's just go there so let's just use one of these to get there which is the green one as i know Let's open up develop PHP. Check how we're doing for time. Hopefully, I should be okay. And basically, when it opens, what about this guy? Now, the easiest way to find this video. And to download the source files is once you come over to develop PHP, either click on the members or better still click on video tutors. That'll show you all the video tutors that are there. Um, you can click on the members, but you will be there for a little while trying to find me. So just so it's easier doing it like this. Now if you just scroll down. And you'll see me here, Pugsy21. All you need to do is once you just stop loading and doing what you want to do. So now you can see that my name's clickable. So just click on my name. And then it will take you into my profile. And once you're in the, my profile, once it actually loads, obviously your computers will probably be quicker than this. Mine needs to new parts but it's not actually got funds at the moment so please bear with me and once you're in my profile just scroll down and then you'll see Pugsy21 video tutorials and then you'll see the slash AS3 and then there'll be the carousel there just click on them and then you'll get uh, directed to where they are so you can download the source files okay guys well Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and uh, yeah, hope you uh, make some good stuff out of it. So, I'll see you soon.